superpower, what would Eat it be? Eat whatever I want and not gain weight. Go home. <laughs> she said, and I like her idea, go home at any time. Just say home. So great to have you both on Sunrise. Thank you. What I love about your characters is, is you're not sure whether you're good guys or bad guys. Yes, and we're not going to give it away here. We no. might be good guys or bad guys. Sometimes we're both. <laughs> we both do that so well. And many of the roles that you've played, you know, they're very nuanced characters where you, they're, sometimes they're both. Is it fun to play a character that's kind of all these shades of gray? I think so. I think it's the best thing. It's one of the things I look for in a role is, is there whatever you first read when you first meet the character is there in the course of the story another side that's pretty different from mm -hmm. that first thing you saw uh, it's a simplistic way of looking at no depth, i understand what you're saying no i like depth in a character but sometimes depth is internal it's not in the narrative which mm -hmm. i which i also uh -huh. enjoy you're right that you're playing something right so, but, but sometimes if you're just an evil piece of garbage, <laughs> that's what you are, and trying to make it palatable or likable is not at mm -hmm. all. I think it's, I you don't think. Yeah, it's a waste of your energy. And, and I think it's a betrayal to the piece yeah. and a betrayal yeah. to right. everyone. Let you it know? be simple. Just let it be, man. Let it be what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Watching you both, I mean, you're not using your hands as much, but you are like using your hands. You're so expressive. And when your characters, you know, on, on screen, you get to use your whole body to tell yeah, the story. Yeah, I was definitely moving around in <laughs> the <Yeah>. character. But <laughs> that's because these guys are so different from me. This, yeah. this character and the characters I usually get asked to play are salesmen and stuff. I'm so not that. I know you really are. You're such it's, an artist. I have no interest He's in so that stuff. He's so arts, art, <laughs> not artsy, but like so, you know, his family no. and your wife yeah. and they're you're very. You're not like Better Call you're not, you're not like so selling not, stuff I'm out so the back of your like car. You no, know, they're literary and like smart and lovely and kind and all of that stuff. And then he goes out and he Play plays these guys. <laughs> Why yeah. do you think that is? Why do you think, do you have, is it an alter ego that you oh, have that well, you don't express in your family life? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I have some theories, but they sound like theories. Boring. I don't know. I mean, why do you get asked to do the parts that you get asked to do? Did you ever analyze them and ask what quality you have? But I get, I get, I, I do a lot of different variety. ones, so I don't really know. Yeah, you're right. What I, I, am. I sort of there's an avenue that I often am asked to go down. I don't think I don't I've actually why ever seen is. you play something. Like who I I've seen you the, in, in yeah. your private, very yeah, private. Yeah, yeah. That, have mm. I not seen something that you were like that in? I think you I can mean, do it because yeah. you know why? Because pe really funny people are also very smart, in my mm. opinion. And I think that they're you can you can so see the freaking edge of wow, the potential reality. Mm -hmm that you can go there. Interesting. And I do feel that way. I feel like he can see that. I know other people who I think are brilliant and they're usually extremely funny. That's so. No, they go together. Yeah. What's interesting is in this film, your characters touch on this idea of how we're living these passive lives through mm -hmm. our screens. Yes, screen that we're, yeah. Yes, and that we're kind of really just experiencing the human condition through someone else's version of it while yeah. we sit safely on the or couch. Or that we're being controlled by all this information that's pounding us in the eyeballs. All Do you day. think it's true? Yeah. I think there's an element of truth to it. I think Brad, I, I feel like I, I haven't asked Brad why it took so long to write another Incredibles, but hmm. I've been told it's because he was waiting for a great story. And I think the screen slaver is that thing that made him go, that is a power that someone could, huh. could that could be used for evil that is a very common thing in our world. And everyone does kind of wonder, is that evil? All our screens mm -hmm. and the way we're locked onto them. And I feel like that is the story that's fresh and at the core of this new uh, new adventure of these characters. You're right. I didn't know. I mean, what else about it? No. The, the family relationships are timeless mm -hmm. things. Yeah, but what's um, new about it, what I, which is what, it's. I don't think it, what's new about it is that we're all, you know, our heads down and addicted to these things mm. that's not new what's new about it to me is what you just said about um 
information that's been thrown at us that we I mean you have to ask Brad but I think that is a very new dimension in our world and that he saw that and thought mm. there's a story there about that evil it's the, the story he evil. took from that that's yeah. what's new about yes. it to me I'm, I'm saying that this has been mm. as long as you know I can remember now unfortunately being around kids it's stuff. true it's, it's hard true. to remember what it was like before My, this but stuff. that's this is something very specific that answers that to mm. me Oh, <laughs>